So here we go. Today is 28th, uh, June 2024, and I'm going to conduct your ELLT as uh, Oxford speaking mock test. My name is Mr. Rose. Could you please tell me what's your full name? Sir, uh, my name is Jawad Khan, and you can call me Jawad. Where are you from, Jawad? I am from <clears throat> Mardan, uh, KPK, Pakistan. All right. Uh, what do you do? Do you work or uh, you study? So I was doing job mm -hmm. as a pharmacist for the last. Now I have resigned to pursue uh, further education. Okay, that is great. Another question, uh, let me guide you, uh, let me guide you about uh, some of the rules regulation. Uh, so there are four parts. The very first one is introduction. The second one is presentation. The third one is essay and the fourth one is picture. So I will begin with the first one, right? So, uh, Mr. Uh, Jawad Khan, uh, can you please tell me that why, why are you taking Oxford exam? Yes, Jawad, why are you taking Oxford exam? Jawad, can you hear me that uh, I'm asking you that why are you taking Oxford exam? Well, sir, uh, there's uh, some reasons of like, first of all, uh, Oxford, you can uh, take it anywhere uh, at any time uh, the world. Secondly, its result is available within 48 hours. Of, uh, and the next thing is that uh, uh, it is the requirement of the university. So that is why uh, I am taking export. All right, that is fine. Another question from you is, what do you do in your free time? So in my free time, I usually uh, do reading books, uh, some social activities like uh, kind of playing uh, football or cricket, uh, or watching uh, TV uh, kind of sports, like for example, soccer or uh, cricket or any other sport. Uh, if uh, I don't have access to uh, internet or uh, television, then I read books. Okay, that is fine. Um, uh, uh, tell me what you want to change in your hometown. Sorry, sir, I couldn't get you. I'm asking you that what do you want to change in your hometown if you were given opportunity? Sir, uh, if I have... Opportunity. I would like to change the basic uh, needs of the people. and system. The basic needs of the people and. Uh, I would like to uh, change that and make the people uh, fight those uh, facilities. Okay, that is great. That's fine. Okay. Now let's move to the second part, and that is presentation. So could you please confirm the title of your presentation? The topic again is that whether students should study education uh, and not allowed to quit before 18, or do I agree or not? Okay, uh, let me uh, let me uh, instruct you about some rules regulation you have to follow during your presentation. Uh, you will have to speak at least for three to five minutes, not less than three minutes, not more than five minutes. Whenever you are ready, you should say, I will begin my presentation. Now, when you finish your presentation, you should say, this is the end of my presentation. <clears throat> During presentation, you have to look into the camera. If you were reading a prepared script, your band score will be affected. Are you ready? So I will begin my presentation. Sir. Uh, first of all, I would uh, elaborate the importance of education. Sir, education is a uh, 
main part of our society it plays a role in society building social uh, people building and uh, building a society well uh, without education uh, people would not be able to understand many things uh, it uh, improves the communication of people the learning skills of the people and uh, their uh, other uh, abilities so begin with the uh, like if uh, i agree or disagree with the uh, students to quit the education before 18 so i will begin uh, uh, with the uh, first one that uh, uh, the positive sense <clears throat> education uh, should not be uh, stopped before 18 well uh, it helps many ways like for example uh, the ability of the people to learn uh, if students could not uh, study till 18 they will not be able uh, to develop themselves uh, and uh, compete with the society secondly <clears throat> it is the basic need uh, for every uh, children and student to study at least till 18 which is compulsory in many countries too there uh, other reasons I would give is that uh, studying till 18 prepares you for a better job employment. Like you uh, learn many skills uh, in different ways uh, while studying till 18. There must be uh, also there is also vocational training for the students till 18, which uh, enables them to communicate uh, in a better way and make them uh, a better person and. Uh, 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 contributing person. So, I would say that education uh, till 18 should be compulsory for the students in order to uh, make them uh, better in person as well as for the community and uh, to make them able to uh, be to compete with the uh, in the society for their uh, jobs and for their roles for their uh, success. While uh, in the counter argument, I would say that there are uh, many reasons also that uh, if students can quit the education before 18. Like, for example, uh, the first one comes to my mind is family support. Like, if there is uh, not anyone in the family uh, who can support the family and uh, one have to quit his education before 18 and support his family, so uh, I think it must be allowed. Like, uh, everything comes uh, after family and... Uh, once you are financially strong, you can study. But if uh, you don't, uh, you can't finance it. How will you study? So the second one is uh, like uh, there must be freedom of choice. Well, uh, if a person don't want to study till eighteen, uh, and uh, if uh, he is counselled and uh, even after counselling, uh, he doesn't want to study till eighteen. He wants to uh, learn some skills and make his future and uh, life. Uh, and those skills, uh, he must be allowed. He must have uh, that choice of skill, uh, choice of speech, uh, freedom. Well, uh, along with that, uh, there are uh, other reasons of it, which uh, I think uh, uh, must be uh, under consideration uh, uh, if to making the students uh, uh, to allow them. So, my um, will be that uh, both studying till 18 and pretending efforts for 18 are good in their own aspects, but uh, there must be a good uh, be implemented. Like, uh, for there would be some cases where the students can be allowed. To quit the study before 18, but in majority aspect, it must be made compulsory for the students to study at least till 18, uh, so that they may be developed, uh, they would have the skills, uh, and uh, they could uh, communicate and compete with different communities of the world as well as uh, the, their own surroundings for their betterment, uh, for their uh, living, uh, and uh, for their success. So I will end uh, uh, my presentation with that, that uh, both uh, aspects are good, but uh, making it compulsory would be uh, very much important. Thank you, sir.
Okay, enough, Joa. Okay, enough. Okay. All right. So Hello? let's let's All move right, to so... the uh, third uh, third part, which is essay. So can you please confirm the title of your essay? So, well, the title of uh, uh, my essay is uh, uh, It is believed that socializing is an important uh, as academic studies uh, in uh, university. What are the advantages and disadvantages of uh, social activities while studying in university? All right, that is fine. So, uh, let me, uh, could you please summarize this essay in a few words? Could you please summarize this? Uh, I would summarize the essay like that. Uh, uh, the essay, the social activities uh, while involving in social activities while studying at university has both advantages and disadvantages. Uh, there are, uh, but the in the broader context, uh, the advantages are more and the uh, more uh, kind of uh, impact on students. So. so uh, keeping in mind the disadvantages of, uh, and uh, their uh, effects, uh, students should uh, involve in the social activities, but in a way that that could not should not affect their studies uh, and their grades and uh, their future. Okay, that is why that's great. Okay, that's fine. I will be asking you a few questions about yes. your essay now. So, Mr. Jawad, you have you have, you have uh, written that uh, uh, social activities uh, that social brings, activity brings to mind uh, is connections. What is the meaning of this phrase? Well, sir, uh, it is used in the context of like uh, social uh, uh, the advantage which comes to. Springs in this sentence uh, means like uh, the points or the ideas which comes to mind. Okay, in another place, you have said yeah, that, uh, who bears a diverse exercise. What is the meaning of diverse exercise? Uh, diverse, uh, it was diverse uh, expertise, I think. So, so diverse expertise means like. Uh, from different backgrounds or uh, with different experiences. Okay, and another place you have said that mitigating okay. the chances of burn out and fatigue. What is the meaning of uh, mitigating the chances of burn out and fatigue? Sir, uh, mitigating the chances of burnout fatigue means uh, the reducing the R of the completely, uh, uh, I would say, uh, uh, it would be decreasing or reducing the chances of burnout or fatigue. Okay. Uh, in another place, you have said that. Uh, Social activities can hinder the social activities focus can and their grades can take a uh, hit and their career might be jeopardized. What is the meaning of jeopardized? Well, uh, making a, a bad impact uh, on the career, like uh, affecting your career in a negative way. If you were given more time to write on the same topic, so what would you write? I would have written the same, sir. Okay. And if you are given to write on any topic that you like, so what topic would you choose? Well, sir, uh, being a pharmacist, I would have chosen the topic like the role of pharmacist in a society. 
Okay, that is fine. Let's move to the okay, last that part is on that inspection. Can you see the picture? Can you see the picture? Uh, not yet. So I'm unable to see the picture. It hasn't loaded it. Okay, sir. I can see it now. I can see it. You have 15 seconds to look at this picture. Got it, sir. Okay, yes. Can you tell me what can you see? Okay, yes. Can you tell me what can you see? The uh, urban society has been shown. Uh, things are like uh, recently made or uh, structured, but more are old. The old zone are like kind of uh, into their last uh, days where buildings are some are uh, partly collapsed or some are. Uh, some are look like to be collapsed uh, in real time, so, while others are like fresh and uh, well uh, whitewashed and uh, painted. Uh, uh, while the streets looks like uh, there is uh, no sort of uh, cleanliness uh, uh, and uh, uh, management uh, for the waste. All right. What do you think that when a war begins, what happened to the nation? Well, sir, uh, in war, uh, mostly, like if you can see in Ukraine, you know, the urban societies uh, are in Palestine. Uh, the urban societies uh, got attacked. Uh, and the buildings usually, like when the bombing and drone uh, starts, uh, the buildings are hit by the bombs and missiles uh, with which they collapse. Uh, so, uh, in that, uh, even uh, most of the basic facilities of the community, they uh, are not, uh, government is not able to provide that. And the people suffer as a lot, uh, a lot like the civilians suffer uh, more than uh, anything else. Okay, that is fine. So, okay, that how is do you fine. think so, that how war should be stopped? Uh, the only solution uh, for any conflict uh, uh, to resolve is uh, dialogue and uh, dialogue and dialogue. So by dialogues and uh, by agreements, uh, war can be stopped uh, with uh, involving the authorized uh, authorities. Like, for example, uh, if, if there is a war between countries, UN uh, is the uh, authority which can stop the war by involving both the uh, sides in dialogues. Okay, that is fine. Um, that's okay. great. Uh, do you have any question from me regarding okay, this any... picture? Yes, sir. Do you have any question from me? Do you have any question from me? No, sir. There is not any question. All right, that is fine. Thank you so much. You will be sure to for here.